This tutorial covers building EMEM sequences on the Carrera and Cayenne switchers. The sequence function of EMEM allows a simple sequence between registers to be quickly learned or recalled. An EMEM sequence is simply a series of registers running one after the other with selectable delays between each effect recall. Each register in a sequence consists of the sequence delay time followed by a pointer to the next register in the sequence. The sequence itself does not exist anywhere except as the pointer in the register which indicates the next register in the sequence. So a sequence can run between registers and stop or it could form a loop and run continually. Learning the contents of the register is always treated separately from learning the sequence pointers. Updating an effect in a register does not change the sequence, and likewise changing a sequence does not change the effect. Let us build a sequence that moves a wipe around the screen using registers 31, 32, and 33. These effects, using a circle wipe in different positions, have already been created. Refer to other tutorials on how to build basic EMANUM effects. To learn the sequence, first enable Learn and Sequence and select the registers in the order they are required. To use the default rate of one second for this sequence, press Learn, Sequence, 1, 2, and then 3. Sequences can go between any register in any page or bank, but it is more convenient to keep them in the same bank, in this example, Bank 3. To replay the sequence, first arm the sequence by pressing the sequence button. Then press the first button in the sequence to be run. To ensure the sequence stops at register 33, press the last button twice when performing the learn. If the last register is not pressed twice, and a previously built sequence pointer exists in the last register, the sequence would now join to the existing sequence that exists in register 33. To loop the sequence just created, a pointer needs to be added to the sequence from register 33 to register 31. To add or edit any sequence, the start register, any delay, and the end register must be entered. Press Learn and Sequence to enable the Sequence Learn mode, then 3, followed by any delay rate required, then the next register, 1, and turn off Learn to end the process. Replay the sequence by pressing Sequence, then press the first button in the sequence to be run. The sequence will now run continually until sequence is turned off or a register without a sequence is recalled. Note that a sequence can start at any register in the sequence. Different delays can be added at each step during the learn as needed. The last entered rate will be used for all subsequent steps unless it is changed. If different delays are needed between the steps in a sequence, these can be entered during the sequence learn using the basic button order of learn, sequence, the first register number, followed by rate, the rate required followed by enter, then the next register number, and so on. The minimum delay between registers in a sequence is three frames. Any number entered of less than three frames will be rounded up to three frames. Sequences can be built from the menu as well as from the panel. In the EMEM and Timeline Recall Run menu, press Learn Sequence, followed by New Sequence, then the registers and delays as desired. Press End Sequence Learn to complete the Sequence Learn operation. As a sequence is simply a pointer in a register to the next register, a register can only be used once in a sequence. The sequence delays and pointers exist in the register, so it is automatically saved when the effect is saved. There is no separate save for sequences. The menu also provides an easy way for sequences between selected registers or all sequences to be cleared. If a register contains a timeline, the timeline will run before sequencing to the next register, 
but only if auto run is active. Otherwise, the sequence will simply jump between the first keyframe of each register. Refer to the tutorial on timelines for information on creating timeline effects. This completes the tutorial on EMEM sequences.